In this video, we're going to talk about identifying flat key signatures. So the basic rule for identifying a flat key signature is to look for the second to last flat. So what I mean by that is going from left to right, in this example, your second to last flat is right here. So it doesn't matter that you're going up and down vertically, it all has to do with how they move across the score uh, from left to right. So this is your second to last flat. As you all know, that note is C, and so therefore we are in the key of C flat. And you would label it C flat, just like that. If we were to take away a flat sign, let me redraw this one up here. and look for the second to last flat with this key signature, you're going to find that your second to last flat is right here, or right here in the bass clef. These two should always match between treble and bass. That's a G, so therefore we are in the key of G flat. You could continue taking flat signs away until you get to one flat, <clears throat> And when you do get to one flat, you can no longer use that same rule because now there's only one flat, so you can't have a second to last flat. So it's in your best interest to go ahead and memorize any key signature that has one flat. That's going to be the key of F. Notice it's not the key of F flat. The key of F flat is not a key that we will ever be using. It's the key of F. All of the other key signatures with flat signs you do have the letter plus a flat sign. For example, this key signature, if you look to the second to last flat, which is E, would be E flat. It's the letter plus a flat sign. So all of the flat key signatures are the letter plus the flat sign, except for the key of F which has one flat in the key signature. 